Hello everybody, today I'll be doing a quick little circuit tutorial. This will be a um, XP system. So every, for me it's going to be every 10 minutes I'm going to reward 10 XP and then once you hit 100 XP you'll get one level. Um, so first you're going to want to get started with a event receiver. By the way, I have this orange wall here and I am on surface, so my circuits get like flush really easily, like they look nice and clean, not have to worry about it that much. Um but yeah, next you want to get an add chip, you want a floor variable. And I just want to clarify the system is not for me. I did not make this time system. This is from someone named the RCL man. Really good circuiteer. I did learn some of my stuff from him. I'm the good teacher, like he explains things very well, goes through, but yeah, okay. So you want to make this event receiver a update 30 hertz. You want to make this float variable. I would just like name it something, so you don't like have anything else named by it for action. I'm just going to do like timer, and then I'm going to put it on synced, right? So this is, oops. Oops. So this is um, if you put on synced, and then all the variables have the same name, then all the variables with that name are going to be synced up, right? But if you put on cloud, all the, of it'll say something that already has that name, I think. And then, but cloud sees between every single like if you go to your dorm room and join back, right? Synced only saves in that instance. So you can change subrooms, but if you go to your dorm room and then you come back, then you'll be fucked. Like, it, not fucked, like it won't save, right? Just keep that in mind when you're doing variables. Um, so next, you want to wire your delta time to the bottom of the add, the end of this float variable, whatever you named it, or if you just kept the same name, doesn't really matter. And then you're going to wire the beginning to the sum, right? So now it'll be updating, blah, blah, blah. Next, you're going to be checking if it's greater. So if it's greater than, which means you'll be needing an if chip, so you can be checking. Um, you're going to be wanting result. So it's checking if. You don't want anything on the else on the if chip. Because if you do, then it'll just constantly be updating because this will be wired to the event receiver, right? But you want to wire the value, like the end value of whatever you named it, to the top of the greater than. This is in seconds. So every, it'll be me at 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. Um, If it's greater than that, then it'll be going to then, and then you want to clone this chip over to here, then, and then run it. This is so that it will reset to zero. And it's not like once you hit 600, you're going to gain like 300,000 levels if you sit there for long enough. It's just like it kind of just stays there, right? So then you're going to want to, this is where the XP system comes in, right? Now you're going to want to get an int variable. You're going to want a add. You're going to want another int variable. Actually, don't get that yet. You're going to want a greater or equal than. And if chip. And then this will we'll stick with them for now. We need more chips, but we'll just do this real quick. Okay. Um, so you're going to want to wire the the output value of this to the value top value of that. You can rename this to XP so like it syncs upon XP. Like this is its own little chip, right? I'm gonna make mine cloud because I want it to save. I don't want it to like reset once you leave, right? Make sure you click submit. I always forget. <laughs> and make sure it isn't the same as your timer because then your timer acts as an int variable. Like let's say you use okay. Let's say, use this as your XP, right? If you have this, and then you name it XP, but this, oh, fuck. Um, 
if this, let's say this was an end variable, right? The timer would be synced up with the XP. So you want these to be on different names. That's why you want most of this to be on different names so it doesn't sync up with other stuff and like break the system. Um, you're gonna want the sum of the add to be the beginning of the XP. So it's kind of just like um, like an X, right? And then you're gonna want to add, which would be the bottom one, however much you want. Um, this is really up to you. You could like do math and then make it like multiply and divide, etc., etc., right? But for now, it's gonna be simple. You're gonna be checking the output value of the int is greater than. So you're gonna like hook that up to A. And then B will be how much XP it is to level up, right? So I'm only gonna make it 100. That's kinda, yeah. That's just how I have it, right? You're gonna check if that's equal. You're gonna wire the end of this up. So it's activating this if. And then, so if it activates, then you're gonna want to add. This is where you're gonna want to get that add and that um, other int variable at. So int. You're also gonna rename this one. I'm just gonna rename mine, rename mine level. I'm gonna have it on cloud, keep that in mind because I want my levels to save. Um, you're gonna wanna wire up the Venn chip and then you're gonna do the same thing we did with the XP. So if we're gonna make it one. Mine is a little high because I was recording this before and I fucked up my tutorial and I, I kind of broke it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, sorry for the background noise, by the way, if you hear anything. Um, so next, if you want it to, if like after they gain one level, then you're going to want to run another int variable. You're going to want this one to be the XP, so you're just going to clone this over. Then you're going to want to subtract. You're going to subtract the the output value needs to be both of the values for the subtract. And then the difference needs to be the input for the XP. This is just so it's resetting the XP and it's not just going to constantly and constantly and constantly level that player up, right? Because, the, well, they have a ton, right? Um, you're going to wire these, so it activates it. So now it's checking if every... 10 minutes is up, if it is, then it will reset the timer, but it will add 10 XP, and then if the XP is greater or equal to 100, then it'll add one to the level, and then it'll reset the XP count. Um, so, this is basically done, right? If you want to, like, check your level and everything, you could set up a text, a to string, and then you can get the output value of the level, put it as the value of the two string, make the result the text, and then set the XP after the XP activates to activate the text. Or if you really want to, you could do your te text, set text, and then set this as the target using this. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wire it up there. All right, it's not that big of a deal. So now you can wire up this chip, and it'll just add i don't want it to take a whole 10 minutes right now so i'm only going to do like five seconds right so every five seconds i want it to check if i have it and then it's going to add 10 xp so now you can see it's going up every five seconds once all these activate boom okay What's doing that right? I'm gonna make a system so it tells me while I'm waiting. So this is gonna be how to like make it so it tells you when you're adding a level. So we're gonna want to unwire this from the if. I'm gonna let this go first. So you can like show the see the system. So like it's gonna equal hundred, it's gonna activate this, and then my level is gonna go up. But you're gonna want to wire the XP. Set it to the player show subtitle, and then you can do. Um, you could. For now, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna teach you string formats yet. I'll do it in a second. Um, you've been rewarded 10 XP. Right. So now it's gonna activate that, and then I want it to 
make sure it keeps running if chip so after this is done i'm gonna make it go through this if chip right um you can do the same thing to the level so if i just move this over i can move this over okay so this is why I'm, I'm gonna be doing a string format so what this does is oh fuck i gotta sort this huh um boom you can step there you can come over you can move over that's what it, you can do you can come over here boom okay we're gonna unwire the end of the level make sure it's running the subtitle first that way it's actually running it okay um so once to add the level i'm gonna go to a string format i'm gonna do a two string pass it switch this around it's gonna look a little messy but it's fine um okay so i'm gonna want the level to be the string the two string and then i'm gonna format do like you hit and i'm gonna do a fancy bracket zero and then fancy bracket that's going to this is basically the value right or whatever it is so it's your you've hit and it's going to tell the player whatever level they hit right you want the result to be the subtitle boom so now it should say whenever i leveled up let's give it a second You've hit level 374. If you want to, you can put an exclamation after. By adding this. Boom. Um, and that should do it. That's the leveling system. As you can see, this text is still updating. So this is all working fine. And boom. See, it's not that hard. Um, it looks way more complicated than it is. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you do it. Thank you, thank you. Have a good day, everyone.